All right, just want to take a moment to talk about some adjustments we'll be making for the seven on seven playbook. Um, the first thing is just a pacing adjustment. So on the dagger side, this H needs to sprint and be the first one to draw that safety's attention. That means the X may have to have a walking start or come off the line a little slower so that they can then sprint into their route and not have that safety's attention. I think it was a pacing thing. The X was getting there before the H. On the tunnel screen side, I wouldn't change anything with the Z's route. One adjustment we'll make with the Y is yes, you're drawing attention away and maybe even rubbing that defensive back, but then turn and come back and look for the ball. Because if the quarterback picks that side, and we only need a few yards, and for whatever reason the Z is covered up, you have a second option on that side. So the same adjustment on play 200. Again, it's just a pacing adjustment. This Y needs to sprint on the go route and draw that safety. The Z can go into a walking start and then sprint and run their route. Nothing changes for the X, it's still that tunnel screen. The H is still rubbing, but then coming back, coming alive for the quarterback um, as an option. Tailback will always go this way to replace in the dagger route. So if you pick this side, there's your first option. There's your second. If you pick this side, we only need a few yards. There's your first option. There's your second option. So here we have the slant whips. I think that worked. Um, we went to that quite a bit. This, the in-game adjustment we needed to make or will make, is we just need to start closer in. So I know there aren't hash marks on the field, but you could even start almost shoulder to shoulder. Let the H and the Y go first. Then you'll come inside and run your slant whip. I think that would be more effective. Plus, if you look at this, when we get to the alley, there shouldn't be any offensive players in your, in your way where maybe we can turn up field and get more yards after the catch. So again, on play 11, and yes, you could call it 1100, but really call it play 11 and then name the player that we're going to put in motion. It could be somebody who hasn't caught a ball for a while and you're just trying to get them involved. Could be there's a cupcake or a slower defender right there and we want to pick on them. So in this case, I'd call play 11, Y motion, or call it the player's name, whoever's in that spot. The quarterback will send them in motion. Once everyone sees the lasso or left motion, they should know that's the way their route's going to go. It's going to go to the left. Because at the snap, the player in the designed isolation is going to cut back. So in this case, the Z would go to the left, the H would go to the left, and the X would go to the left. Even the tailback stay out of the way and go to the left. So that way when we do cut back, it's more of an ISO or an isolation route. So this play 11 illustrates Z motion. Y motion would be the same, but just know you could call H motion to the right, X motion to the right, and have the same concept. You know, for many of you in your first seven on seven football game, I thought our our man to man one safety high defense was was pretty strong. Um, as you know, the first priority is for the defensive backs to match up with the X and the Z. The next backer will match up with the next inside wide receiver. Here's where we maybe didn't explain as well as I would have liked to in our one practice, but if the tailback comes out, this backer is in man. That really leaves this linebacker without a responsibility because the center cannot go out per route. So what they should be doing is just looking inside 
and picking up either one of these that come in, or what we did at the end was we just moved this backer back and had two safeties. So a cover two man, and that's something you can talk about and definitely try on Wednesday. And just a couple things to say on our orange defense. Remember the first priority, the defensive backs are, are matched up. Man, when they go up and jam, the quarterback's probably going to believe that everybody's in man, when really these three linebackers are zoning off the middle. And what I like about it is we have two safeties, so their only responsibility is half the field. This backer will need to get more depth if they figure that out. But I think, um, depending on the matchups, we could definitely show more orange defense um, as time goes on. We really didn't fall into our green defense too much. I do think it's a good defense um, when they're on the goal line or going for that one point conversion. Um, just make sure, even though we're we're all in a zone. If they only have two yards to the end zone, make sure we're up on the line and then we can flow back. These safeties even should be up almost in the middle of the end zone if it were a conversion. Um, and then you're just passing off one receiver to the next. So if that's the case, you would just wait in case they have some action that way. But we do need green it could be used as a prevent defense, but I see us using it as more of a goal line defense in green. 